This is the Long Beach study site located in Plymouth, Massachusetts. On the right hand side you can see the newly constructed seawall that was reconstructed as an erosion control method to protect the upland areas from storm damage. The importance of structural integrity has become apparent in recent years at this site because of the wave action that destroyed the old seawall. Additionally, as we travel further up the coast at this site, you can see where the seawall ends and where the large rocks were placed as a means of hard structure to continue protecting the infrastructure and land behind the beach. This is the Ellsville Harbor Study Site located in Plymouth, Massachusetts. On the left-hand side, a similar method of erosion control can be observed. As you can see, the large rocks were also used at this location in order to protect the hillside and act as a buffer against erosion. Furthermore, on the left-hand side, you can see the mass wasting that has taken place over the years at this location. Mass wasting has affected many homes in this area and many hard structures have been implemented to protect and slow down the rate of erosion behind these homes. An additional hard structure that can be seen at this location is the use of hard sandbags placed at the foot of the hill face. And you can see those coming up on the left hand side below these homes. This is the Scusset Beach study site located in Bourne, Massachusetts. Scusset Beach has seen an increase in sediment over the years due to the incorporation of the jetties seen in this video, along with the longshore drift direction. Even though there has been accumulation of sediment, there is still beach grass being planted at this site each year in order to act as a buffer against storm damage. This is the Sandwich Beach study site located in Sandwich, Massachusetts, parallel to Scusset Beach. Because of the jetties of this location and the longshore drift, Sandwich Beach has been eroding at a constant rate each year. As Scusset Beach is built up, Sandwich Beach receives the opposite effect and is instead eroded. As we travel further up the coast at this site, you can see the multiple beach groins have also been implemented in order to trap sediment from longshore drift so that the coast behind is still protected.